Hi everyone, welcome back to Rosy Vlogs. I've been looking for the perfect donut recipe and I found it. So I'm going to share with you the perfect melt in your mouth glazed donut recipe. So first let's ready the dry ingredients. You're going to need some all-purpose flour, some sugar, nutmeg and some salt. Don't skip the nutmeg, that's going to give you the perfect donut flavor. Give these all a mix and set it aside. Now for the wet ingredients, you are going to need some warm milk, yeast, melted butter and an egg. You should be able to put your finger into the warm milk. It shouldn't be hot or else the yeast is not going to do its job. Give the wet ingredients also a quick mix and uh, I will leave all the ingredients and the quantities in the description box. Now we are going to mix the wet ingredients with the dry, use a spatula and combine these together. Today I'll show you how to make this dough by hand. Uh, this dough is a bit annoying to work with um, but it's definitely not impossible. But if you have a stand mixer, definitely go ahead and use it. Apply some oil onto the work area and apply some oil on your hands as well. Dump the dough onto the surface and we are going to start kneading this for about 10 to 15 minutes. And if you are using your stand mixer, it's going to take only about 5 to 6 minutes. So this is why it's annoying to work with this dough. It's very sticky and uh, that's how it's supposed to be. Don't tend to add any more flour. So if you're making this dough by hand, you'll want to use one of these scrapers. It will help out a lot with the mess and they definitely come in handy when you make bread. If you're new here, hello, welcome. I post new recipes every week. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to my channel. After kneading the dough, we're going to place it in a greased bowl. Cover it and let it rest for about 2 hours until it's doubled in size. This is after 2 hours, the dough is doubled in size. Bring it to a flat surface. Sprinkle some flour on top as well. We are going to start rolling out the dough to about quarter of an inch thickness. Now go ahead and cut out the donuts. I have a donut cutter. If you don't have this, you can use bottle lids of two sizes and it's going to work just the same. Cut these out and place them on uh, some baking paper or oil paper. Any sort of paper because that's going to help us later. You can make more donuts with the remaining dough, bring it back together and roll it out. The donuts that you cut out the second time isn't going to look as pretty but it doesn't matter at all because they're going to taste the same. These are the ones I cut out the first time and then this is from the second time. Now we are going to cover this and rest it again for about 30 minutes. Now we are going to fry these. You can bring the donut into the oil with the same oil paper that you kept them on. That way you will keep the right shape of the donut. The most important tip to remember is to keep the flame at its lowest. These donuts fry so quickly and they turn a dark brown very quickly. So keep an eye on them. Turn these over in about one minute and take these out of the oil as soon as they turn a light golden brown. Don't fry these for too long. That way you will keep that soft fluffy melt in your mouth texture. Now we are going to make the glaze for our donuts. We are going to need some powdered sugar, some melted butter and a little bit of milk. 
the amount of milk you're going to add is going to decide whether it's going to be a thick or a thin glaze so add the milk according to your preference I like my glaze a little bit on the thin side so I've added a little bit more milk dip your donut into the glaze place this on a wire rack until it sets also you can easily make these chocolate donuts if you don't want to use the glaze you can dip this in some melted chocolate look at these donuts and tell me you don't want to try this right now they are seriously the best donuts i have ever made these are so fluffy literally melts in your mouth and that glaze brings all the flavors together so well donuts taste best while they're still warm so there is no waiting you can go ahead and have one straight away not one actually maybe more definitely give this recipe a try you're not going to regret making this thank you so much for watching my video i'll see you next time bye